I thank God this moment and especially this Easter period whereby we need to hear and learn more about the Easter and the outcome of Easter. And our reading today is from the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 1 to 8. And I'll read, After the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices to go and anoint the body of Jesus Christ. Very early on Sunday morning at sunrise, they went to the tomb. On the way, they said to one another, who will roll the stone away for us from the entrance to the tomb. It was a very large stone. Then they looked up and saw that the stone had already been rolled away. So they entered the tomb where they saw a young man sitting on the right wearing a white robe, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised. Look, here is the place where they put him. Now go and give this message to his disciples, including Peter. He is going to Galilee ahead of you. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and ran from the tomb, distressed and terrified. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are grateful for this moment. We are asking you, God, to be together with us and give us your company. And may this message of our God bless us all, bless our viewers, bless everybody who you hear this word, O oh God. Speak to me, speak to us all, for this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our viewers, you are welcome to hear the message of God. And also my parish, the parish at large, it's good that we hear what the Lord has to tell us this moment. My name is Reverend Uticas Moreidi Gekunju. I love the Lord as my personal Savior. He has been good and faithful to me, even at this time that we have uh, challenges about now, the, uh, the, the COVID-19. Uh, uh, and from our reading, Mark chapter 16, verse 1 to 8, I would like us to think of a topic. Who shall roll away the stone? Easter is a season that gives us an opportunity each year to revisit the empty tomb and be reminded of the power of God who is able to do more than we can ask or imagine. Those are words that you can get from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3 and verse 20. In this book of Mark, it tells us that when the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome, they bought spices to prepare Jesus' body for burial. On their way, they were asking each other, who will roll the stone away for us? But on reaching the tomb, the stone had already been rolled away, not by any man power, but an angel of the Lord had rolled the stone away. All the worries of these, of these women and their concerns over the problem of the stone had been addressed now by God. Jesus is not dead and the stone is rolled away. The same God is active today in our lives. In our lives. I would like to remind you that Easter is a season that can bring a lot of blessings to us, to our country, to us as Christians, and also to the entire world. I want to tell you today that Satan thought it was over for Jesus and the redemption of man, but the day became the beginning of victory 
for man and the day of great accomplishment for Jesus Christ. I have the three things to consider in my lesson today. One, a progressive decision, and number two, a problematic distraction, and number three, a powerful dominion. One, when we think of a progressive decision, I thank God because these women, they were women of faith. They decided to go and try rather than staying indoors. It was a moment that many people were behind doors. They were worried what will happen next, even the disciples. But they decided to, grow, to go and try and see the outcome. These women, they had followed Joseph as he buried Christ on Friday. They saw him wrap the body, and they saw the stone rolled into place, sealing the tube. The day rolled quickly, and the Sabbath approached. These women were not able to buy the spices to anoint and honor the body of Jesus Christ. Their biggest worry now, this morning, that they went out to work on the body of Jesus to, to prepare it for burial, their biggest worry this morning was the heavy stone they had seen being placed at the entrance to Jesus' tomb. Who would move it away for them so they could perform duties of love, duties of honor for their teacher, their friend, and their Lord? Most people were hiding. The stone now was an obstacle to them. In spite of the difficult facing them, they began their journey toward the stone. We all have stones which prevent us from reaching out in faith to Jesus Christ. Oftentimes, or most of the times, we cannot remove them by ourselves. Like the women on the way to the tomb, we are not strong enough to move these heavy stones, but there is someone who can. No stone is heavy for God that he will not roll it away. Number two is about a problematic distraction. I may ask my viewers and everybody who is listening, what are stones? Stones are objects of distractions. They block many things. They block your views. They block your dreams, your visions, your plans. And they also block one's path and make advancement difficult. The, st the stones shall not dictate your life. You shall see the year ahead. The bad news is that everyone has one or several of these stones at various stages in life. And they are of different sizes, and they, make, they are made up of different materials in terms of strength. They are all from a common source the kingdom of darkness, to tamper with our joy and progress in life. Think of the coronavirus today, the COVID-19, as it's called today. Everybody is worried, not knowing what to do next. But I want to say the good news is that there is only one power that can roll away the stones, and this is the power of God. Think of how God delivered the Israelites at the Red Sea. They reached safely to the other side, and the enemy 
was destroyed. David, think of David and Goriath. David, as a young boy, was able to kill Goriath. You may have a stone as big, as strong as Goriath, but remember, that stone will not dictate your life. That stone, you'll see the end of the stone. Today, those things that are placing from every side, from front, from behind, from sides, surely they are stones, and we can say these are problematic distractions. They have come to our families, they have come to our places of work, they have come to our individual lives, and we are not able to progress. I want to remind you that Easter season is the time that God is reminding us we can have a new beginning. And God is ready to work on every stone in your life, every stone in my life, so that the journey and the joy and the progress may be seen and may be experienced. My third consideration, and it's the last one, is about a powerful dominion. On nearing the top, the women realized their main problem had been taken care of. We are on daily basis being bothered by huge stones. Something that they are not, some, something that they are not allowing, some of the stones are not al allowing us to make any progress. The whole world today is at standstill. The COVID-19 is the talk of the day. Many are infected, others are affected, and a number are dead. This is a stone that really has come and everybody is bothered by this stone. This is a stone to superpowers. It is a stone to scientists. It is a stone to the medical practitioners and also the entire Church of Jesus Christ. The angel who rolled the stone away, I want to remind you, he sat on that stone. The stones in your life will not be partially solved. They will be totally dealt with and permanently dealt with. When we think of the angel sitting on the stone, it means that the stone was no longer a challenge to these women. In conclusion, I want to tell my viewers and everybody that victory is near. Think of Jesus Christ, the way, the journey of the cross, and the way many people thought that he will not make it. I want to ask you, what is the stone or stones in your life? There is no stone too big for our God. He can roll them away. In our families, surely we have so many stones. Every family can start thinking of the stones that are pushing you, that are pressing you, that are hindering you not to progress as a family. Our children are lost in various challenges. Some have joined undesirable groups. Some are in alcohol and drug abuse. Some parents have run away from home. And here, the children have nobody to mentor them. Think of us as individuals. Are we tired of living in sin? We should know very well there is a path already prepared for me and you. 
to get out of sin. And this is through accepting that you are a sinner and then no will will that you cannot save yourself and you need to come to God and ask for forgiveness. Satan can't prevail because Jesus Christ, by his death and resurrection, has shaken the, the very foundation of hell. The devil's foundation is no longer intact. It is already shaken. And surely, every stone is sure to fall. Members and everybody and viewers, every stone is about to fall. The foundation is weak now. Because Easter season has come to remind us that we are going to make it. May God bless us all. May God bless you now and be with you in all your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful this moment. Because of your word, which is reminding us that today we should not really be bothered much by the challenges that are behind us in front of every, or from every side. You are reminding us through this Easter season that as God sent an angel to roll the stone away for the three women to go and anoint the body of Jesus Christ and prepare the body for burial, you'll also roll all the stones away from our families, from our places of work, from every, from the Church of Christ, all the stones that are disturbing us, our country, our leadership, and the entire world. Even if the ladies thought that they would meet Jesus Christ in the tomb, they never met him there because it was prophesied and Jesus had said on the third day he arose again. Yes, they made that everything that was disturbing them, that they omit Jesus Christ dead, and the stone all was settled on their behalf. God come and settle everything on our behalf. All the challenges, all the problems, and again, what we have at hand this moment, the coronavirus, the sins of this world, and every other thorn that is disturbing us. And thank you because you're going to do it for your own glory. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless us. God bless Kenya, the Church of Christ, and the whole world. Shalom. Peace. God bless you. Amen.